guys, welcome back. Uh, it's Mr. Adams here. Anyway, I thought we'd uh, review a little bit. The objective of this lesson is to go over the parts of the stairwell opening. We talked about this in class. We've been going over the parts of the floor. I'm down here in my basement and I look up and it looks like a great opportunity to review that diagram. One of the main reasons is my house is built a little bit different than the, um, than the house that we go down and look at uh, that Mr. Burley has been building. That's framed, the house that Mr. Burley's building is framed with TJIs. So they are built out of basically uh, little I-beams that are manufactured out of wood, which, wood, which we talked about. My floor joist system is built like the diagram that I often go over in class when we're talking about reviewing the terms uh, that go along with floor framing, all right? So we're down here, and if you look, we're gonna talk about specifically the sill plate is up here. Now my foundation, is a little different. I'll go over the sill plate in a second, but my foundation again too is a little different. This is a poured wall concrete foundation sitting on a footing, all right? Then we have our concrete slab sitting on top of the footing. On top of our foundation, we have our sill plate. Just like in the diagram, just like in, the, in class, we talked about that. Sill plates are made out of pressure treated lumber and underneath our sill plate is our termite shield or our sill seal we use a lot of times nowadays, all right? So something to keep the bugs and stuff out of there, all right? So that's a pressure treated piece of lumber because it's sitting on concrete, all right? So that's fastened with an anchor bolt down to the concrete so that the anchor bolt sits down inside the concrete here. It's a little J anchor bolt. It's a threaded bolt that sticks up above the foundation and then the sill plate is fastened to the bolt, all right? On top of the sill plate, we have our common floor joist here, all right? This particular common floor joist is a two by 10 spruce floor joist, all right? They'll typically span 14 feet, 10 inches, and that spans, you can see over here, to my I-beam. If you look at my I-beam, it's a steel I-beam, all right? And the spruce floor joist rests on top of the sill plate attached to the I-beam here, all right? So that's a spruce floor joist right there. A common, typical spruce floor joist. Now, if we look over here, we have my stairwell opening and we've gone over this many times, guys. We have a couple of different things going on here. We have our double trimmer joist right here next to our stairwell opening. All right, if you look, we've had that on a test several times. All right, we have our header, our double header right here. We have our Simpson strong tie connectors, our, our joist hangers, these are called. This is a double joist hanger. This is a single joist hanger. This single joist hanger is a connected to our cripple joist, okay? This cripple joist is fastened from our header joist out here to our sill plate, all right? Then if we remove the insulation out here, we have another joist going this way called our header joist or our box sill, they call it where these two by 10 floor joists are fastened to, all right? All right, just to review, we have our trimmer joist, we have our double joist hanger, we have a single joist hanger, we have our double header joist, and we have our trimmer joist, our double trimmer joist here, all right? Again, our common or typical floor joist right here, all right? So just down in your basement, if you guys have time, go down there, take a look and see what you got going on down there and see if you can identify some of the parts down in your basement, if you have a basement. So typically a stairwell opening like this, I have an L-shaped stairwell opening. That's a little bit different than the ones, remember we built uh, stairwell openings in class on top of our little, in, in our little floor frames. This is just one side of our stairwell opening and we talked about the nailing pattern, how we had to nail this one in first so we got good nailers into our, into our crippled joist here, all right? So we put this one on first and then we added this one on second and we went through that whole nailing process if you recall. So anyway, um, hopefully you have uh, enjoyed the lesson here, guys. I really appreciate you zooming into, or uh, getting in the meeting every morning at 8 a.m. That's important that you do that, so thanks. And I saw some awesome, awesome pictures today. Justin built an Adirondack chair on his own with his parents, which looked really cool. He also sent me a picture of a bluebird box that he had, bit, he had built. So 
Very cool, guys. I really appreciate it. Keep them coming. I'm working on a video here where we're gonna we're gonna host your projects and show everyone what you're building. So looks really cool. And man, remember, be safe. Don't get hurt. These aren't assignments. I'm not telling you to go to go use power tools. Make sure you have your parents' permission before you before you move on and uh, and decide to do something at your house. Anyway, have a great weekend, guys. Uh, I'll talk to you on Monday morning, or, or I'll talk to you soon. See ya.